mean, I didn't think he did nothing wrong where he ran. I just thought he was trying to break that big play too much instead of letting the game through the progression come to you. Will we show you some more things than the one he had in practice when he got his chance out there? Yeah, I, I thought that was the first time I seen him be a football player. To me, not saying he hadn't been a good player, he just he just hit a switch and he played football. And that's what you want in the game. You don't want to run it back thinking. If he thinks too much, he's not a good running back. You want to get in the game and when you see an open hit, when you run behind your pass. You know, and that's the thing I thought he did a great job doing. I think you, we're looking for a number three. And I think he put himself in the equation to take over that role right now, of that performance going forward. That, that might be just last week, right? So you know, keep that competition going, or you want to solidify that spot and just have them there for a while? Well, it's going to always stay to go. If you ain't performing, you're going to get the most. I mean, we got enough guys in that room that can play, so nobody going to take a back seat. Nobody going to sit there and be complacent. I mean, I'm not going to let that happen as a coach, and I'm failing my room if I do that. You know, I'm not just going to give a guy something. You got to go out there and earn it every week. Do you want to go back to your playing days? What did Miami mean? Obviously, you had. My, I'm, I'm sorry, what did Maryland mean? You had Miami, Pitt was there, but what did Maryland mean to Mountaineer players? Well, because you had Pitt, you had Maryland, Virginia Tech back in the day. So you had robberies. You know, right now we still trying to form who that robbery is. You know, the Big 12 trying to make it our state. That's not a robbery for us. Maryland's still the last robber we got left. And, and, and we're not going to play them for a while. So we need to go out there and win, you know, and take pride in doing that. And that's what I stressed to my kids last year. You know, this is all we got left. You know, we got to embrace this and take advantage of it. You know, and I think last year Maryland did a better job than that than we did. And as players and coaches, so we need to get on. We, you know, we need to be highly motivated going in this game because right now everything's in front of us. You know, and that's what I tell the kids. You know, we still go in the Big 12 and everything else in front of us. We lost one game. Let's, why not? Let's go run the table, win out. How about Smallwood working downfield? He just looks so natural, tracking balls and running routes. I mean, is he a receiver playing running back? Is he a running back playing receiver? What is it? I still think he's a running back playing receiver. I mean, you watch the way when he do get a carry, how he finish. You watch him after the catch, he go forward. He running through contacts. You know, he getting yak yards. And that's the thing that while we, while we like using him in the slot, because when he, he catch the ball and he square a safety, yeah, well, that guy got a hard time either catching his space or making that tackle. So he brings a dimension to the game that, you know, it's going to put stress on the defense. And then the fact that you don't know how to play us. Do you go big sets? We got both of them in the backfield, or you play your nickel dime defense because we can be an empty at any moment. So, you know, those advantages that we try to take advantage of as coaches. Mm -hmm. 